In this video, we'll be taking a look at a Trinity Rescue Kit. You can get it from this website here, trinityhome.org. It's a free piece of software, it's Linux based, and it's got a load of tools in it. And it's great for fixing computers and scanning for viruses. Now, imagine you can't boot your PC up and you've got a virus, then this is going to be really useful because it's got four different types of virus scanners in it. It's got AVG, CLAM, and FPROP, and Bitdefender. They have four decent uh, virus scanners. And uh, what you can do is boot to the CD and run some scans. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's also got a load of other tools in there, Gparted, which is uh, and also uh, clone tools and all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, we'll go into that in another video. So this is uh, the actual website you can download it from. I'm going to reboot and actually uh, fire up me Trinity CD. So let's uh, go on there. That's good. Just shut that off. Okay, I'm going to restart and get into Trinity right now. Okay, so this is the Trinity software, what we've booted into. And as you can see, you've got the option to go into default, which is what we're going to be doing. But if you want to, you can go straight into virus scan if you want. And this will run a uh, clam antivirus. But we're going to go straight into the rescue CD uh, itself and uh, type in our commands to run it which one we want. So you might not want to run clam, you want to run AVG or FPROT or Bitdefender or something of that nature. So just let it do its thing, let it load up. That takes a bit of time. It's a cool piece of kit. Um, it's handy to have in your CD wallet, when it, especially when it's free as well. So uh, let me just let this load in. Okay. Okay, so that's just uh, given the OK sequence here. As you can see, do some checking. It's just trying to get the IP there, as you can see. It's got all that. You can just read these as they're going up, really. Okay, and this is the actual beginning of... Uh, it's all command based so you'd have to run commands to actually run any programs because that's it it won't run for you so you'd have to run it from here now what we're going to do we'll have a little look at say for instance uh bit defender so what you need to do here is type uh let's just uh, get the uh, typing up there virus scan space dash a space bde which is bit defender okay now what we're going to do is push enter here and this should mount Bitdefender and then try and download what it needs to download. So it's saying do you want to continue here? I'm going to go Y for yes, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory really. And as you can see it's coming down now, it's downloading it off the web. Now I know um, any sort of virus scanning software you're going to have to update anyway. If you can't get an update then obviously it can't update the uh, software so you are going to need a connection internet connection at this stage but we'll let that scan anyway let that download if you're the odd slur from me it's because I've been drinking quite a bit a bit pissy <laughs> so you just have to put up with the slurs <laughs> anyway just let that load in okay so that's done now so push enter to continue so I'm just going to push enter it's just ver verifying there, all good. Uncompressing, bit defender scanner. Okay, that's cool. Now at this stage here, you may find it a bit weird. It doesn't do anything, it sticks on 23%. The reason for that, you've got to push enter on the keyboard. And the reason why it wants you to read this bullshit bloody license agreement. So just, just click on the uh, enter key until it reads 100%. I mean, who reads all that? Come on. I mean, but just let it go through there anyway. Okay, that's that done. And as you can see now, please enter accept. So you're going to have to accept. It wants you to type accept as well. Okay, so you're going to have to go uh, like so and push enter. Okay, once you've done that, you just push enter again and it will start to do its shit. Okay, so just let that do its thing. And... Uh, I'm going to, it's just updating here, so I'm going to pause this at this stage so you don't have to watch all this crap. Okay, 
okay so it started its scan now as you can see it's scanning everything scanning plugins and you just leave it running really it takes a bit of time but just let that run all the way through and that will find any malware, spyware or trojans or anything of that nature okay now obviously it might not clean every single malware or trojan or virus off there but what you can do is use it to get the bulk of the nasties off just so you can actually boot the system up and then once you can get back to the desktop you can actually run more scans okay so it's just sort of helping you get rid of the the main bulk of it to lighten the load on the uh, computer okay so uh, I'm going to let this run off for a little bit there's no virus or malware on this system I just wanted to show you how you run this program so because I've been out a few messages from people saying they how do I do it on a PC that doesn't boot well this is the answer or one of the answers so I'll let this run for a sec okay so all we need to do now is push enter on the keyboard and uh, this will start the scanning process off okay so you just see it saying OK and then push OK again and that will start the scanning process OK so once that's done you just let that run through uh, it does take a bit of time as I said you can see OK going down the right hand side of the screen there and what I'll do is I'll put the more there's more information on my forum so I'm just going to basically show you some basics and if you want to read all about it and more command lines that you can use in this program then go to my forum and I'll do a complete write up on that program okay so anyway I'm gonna pause this for a sec okay so I restarted that and I wanted to show you uh, the other commands that you can use for the other virus scanners so we need to do here is just put virus scan uh, space and then you want a dash dash C okay and then space dash A and then C L A M that's one and if I enter that now that would run the clam uh, antivirus okay and also um, you want for AVG is uh, that I will put all this information up on the forum but you'll have to go there and read it that's to run the AVG and uh, also to run FPROT uh, we got that so if I run that you'll see it will run FPROT okay and it's as simple as that really so what I'm going to do is go for it just to show you the basics of starting this off as, as you can see it's downloading now and it's the same process really of running a scanner with FPROT now so I think that's a fantastic way of getting rid of malware, spyware or trojans or anything of that nature and other tools it's got on there and we'll have a look at that in a later video so uh, I'll let this finish off uh, and then we'll finish off so let this download so I've been getting the general gist of it anyway so I'll probably finish this video off right now so that's how you scan for viruses malware or trojans with uh, a virus scanning software built into this uh, Trinity uh, rescue CD. Okay, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope this video has been some use to you. If you enjoy my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. If you want to read more about this uh, information about this video and about this software, then head over to my forum and I shall put a full report on all the uh, software and the commands that this program has. Okay, so thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Keep on watching the videos and keep hitting that subscribe button and the rate button. Thanks very much. Bye for now.